Man, Chris, it must be cold down there in St. Mary's this morning. Well, I don't know. I'm not in St. Mary's. I am up here, guys, in God's country, Lake Weiss, Alabama. Alabama. So, I'm excited. I'm going to do a little crappie fishing, maybe a little bass fishing this morning. Um, I got a, there's a bunch of birds working down here in this corner that I'm headed to for this riffraff. I may have to go down there and see what's going on because that usually is a sign of something is happening. Uh, there's some bait or something down there busting the top of the water. Man, there's a bunch of birds down there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go down there. So uh, maybe we'll get some action early. It is cold, cold here. It's in the 30s. Uh, I got on my outfit my warm outfit to be warm i don't have any gloves I, I realized that when i got out here i might need some gloves but i'm not going to run around and stuff uh, i have no earthly idea what's biting uh the water temperature i don't even know what it is yet oh it's 55 which is that's a good temperature so uh let's, let's see what happens guys maybe i'll catch some fish today you need, and you know what if i don't it's all right too, man, because I love it out here. All right, these birds don't look like they know what they're doing. The water's way down, so I'm gonna have to really kind of be careful here what I'm, where I'm running around. But anyway, I've already had two Thanksgiving feasts, one at my family's, one at Tammy's brother's church, um, and then there's one today. So I don't know how much weight I'm gonna gain here in the next few days uh but i'll be working it off when i get back down to st mary's yeah i don't think i'm fishing these birds let me show them to you like a whole flock of ducks there they all go and all the seagulls usually the seagulls are the good sign like you'll see them dive in after bait and stuff and they are a little bit i don't know i'm trying to get into crappie fishing um never done that and uh you know now that i'm a tourist up here i feel like i might need to crappie fish a little bit i don't know i just feel like that's kind of the thing you're supposed to do feel like i'm uh man listen to them y'all hear them dogs it's being an escape prisoner or something cool hand loop kind of thing going on here uh well, I'll get back to you if I get a fish. I know I was going in some kind of direction with that, what I was talking about, but I don't really. First little something out of here. Thanks for cropping. Oh, that was a bass. That was a nice bass, guys. Lord of mercy. <sighs> That was not what I was expecting, I gotta tell y'all. That was a bass. And it was a good one. On my crappie jig. On my little bitty crappie jig. Nice bass. Maybe I'll catch him next time. I think this might be another bass, I don't know. Pull on my drag. Something nice. Oh. What a bass on crappie jig. May not ever get him in.
Pull on the boat. Crazy guy. But I'm catching a fish like this. Probably jig. little old bitty tiny jig but these these uh little shad and stuff in here are a little bitty so i guess that makes sense I'm never in my life then something like that that is a quality, that is a quality little bass, little spotted bass on that little old bitty tiny jig, a little old Bobby Garland jig, Lord of mercy. Wow, I'm going to keep crappie fishing, I'm going to catch bass like that, look at that little dude. I'll have to retie it. It's all skin up, but I'll be glad to. All right. I'm retied. I'm going to get back up there. That's just, that's just crazy. Catch a fish like that. On that little bitty jig. And that's the second one. That first one was like that one. The one that I had that got off first. I didn't think that would happen again. But it, it surely did. Man, that was fun. That was fun, guys. I can't express, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know how to express that. How fun that was. Just crazy. Now, every time I run right through this one little spot right here on my depth finder I see so many fish I'm 90% sure that's a bunch of crappie down there and if catching a bass like that is the byproduct of trying to catch those jokers then let's let's keep on keep it on Yeah, we're up here, like I said, seeing her family and my family. My, I'm from Chickamauga. And uh, my mother's side of the family just had their Thanksgiving. So that's what we did. We went up there. Everybody met up. Had a big meal up there. And then, of course, fam, uh, Tammy's family is from down here in Cedartown. Collard Valley. So this evening, we'll be eating with them. I met her when I was coaching at Rock Mart. And Rock Mart and Cedartown are both in the same, same county. Bitter rivals. Folks from Rock ah! Mart. Supposed to get along, but me and her got along pretty good. But of course, I'm not from Rockmart. I was just coaching, so I'm not a Rockmart person. So I guess it was okay for me. Obviously, it was okay for me. And if it wasn't okay for me, I made it okay for me. <laughs> it was okay to me. Oh Lord, what a girl! And I would be out here on this lake every weekend. 
What was crazy is I will always say the only way I was ever going to meet a woman, because I was 33 when I got married. And my thing was, well, if I ever meet a woman, it's going to have to be on the way. It's going to have to be on the way to the lake. But you know what happened? On the way to the lake, I stopped to get something to eat about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. And guess who was in there eating that fished with me? Tammy's cousin. And guess who introduced me to Tammy? Her cousin. So really, I kind of did meet my wife on the way to the lake. So he set us up on a blind date. There you go. There you go. On a crankbait. That's what I kind of expected to catch him on today. Pretty little fella. Right there. Let's see if we can get him going now. Oh, man. Whew. Man. Well, I kind of know what's happening here. But it's lost a good fish. Look like one about three or four pounds, but these fish are in about five or six feet of water. And um, I'm in a creek channel right here. And it runs, it runs right along the front of all these docks down this bank. And the front of these, most of these docks are in about five or six feet of water. And then there's brush, you know, all down through here. That's the second bass I've hooked into. That was a good one. That first one, y'all saw it was a little one. The bad thing about this right here is you get your crankbait stuck because there's, you know, brush and stuff that people put out in front of these docks. Look at that specimen. I caught it on the crappie jig, too. Oh, Lord. I don't know what it is with these crappie. Yeah. Your line break? I broke my spinner bait off, my head and my hook. You got to do good with it. There's a shad all up down through here. Cover that with them pretty good. I caught some on a crankbait, but I didn't, I didn't catch a whole lot, but they were good, you know, decent fish. I caught two on the daggone crappie jig. I started off crappie fishing, and I caught about a three-pound spot with a crappie jig, and I was like, daggone. And I had another one. I bet that was fun. I, it was. I had another one, and I lost it. So I thought, man, I just need to throw a crankbait, I guess.